Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2020 GMC Acadia. And we're gonna do the side door chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the vehicle. It's just a regular side chrome panel. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material, that way it matches the color of the pillar. And it also gives the vehicle a more sportier look as well. If you like the product, link for the product will be linked below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before starting with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the panel. So all you need in order to prep the panel is water and baby shampoo mixed together. Once you have your solution, spray it onto a clean microfiber towel and just remove all the contaminants that the panel may have. You can also take the vehicle through a car wash. Just make sure if you do do that, that the whole panel is completely clean and dry. Because if there's still water residue left over and that adhesive side of the film touches that water, the film will not stick even if you apply heat. So keep that in mind. Make sure everything's clean and dry. So once you finish prepping the panel, we can start with the installation. So with this one, just place the film down onto the panel. That way you have both hands to work with when it comes to aligning here. So start by aligning this section of the film to the edge of this panel here. And once you align it, just take your time on aligning the film to the panel and you could use the lower section as a guide in order to align the film. So just go all around, lift the film carefully and align it. So once you place the film, grab your squeegee, start tacking it down to secure it. Take your time when you're squeegeeing the film down and just make sure to remove any air bubbles that are trapped behind the film. And then for this top area here, you're going to wrap the film around the top edge up to where the chrome ends. So you're going to notice where the chrome ends when you see it on this top edge. So as long as you're covering the chrome on the top edge, you should be good and then everything else would be excentered. So just tack down everything. And then once we're done tacking down, we're going to create a small outline with our finger so we can have an idea of where we need to trim. So if you're still wondering where exactly you need to trim, there's going to be a gap right here in the middle of the gasket and the panel. Just find that gap. You can lift the film to double check and see where it's at. Once you see where it's at, place it back down. And with your finger, you can start creating that outline. And you would just go on until you reach to the top. And now we will grab our blade and trim off the excimeter. So just take your time, follow the outline that was created and trim off the excimeter. forget to trim off the extra material from the edge and that's pretty much it and then we would apply heat all over the film to secure it and help the adhesive activate faster and then once you're done with that we can move on with the next piece which is basically the same thing it's just the lining tagging it down making the outline and then trimming and then heat so just grab your heat gun and start applying heat onto the film and just take your time when you're doing this step you want to secure the whole film and if you still see any extra material after you finish heating then you can go ahead and trim it off as well like i said if there is still some excess material just come back and trim it off and then once you're done move on to the next piece Okay, so now we're just moving on to the next panel. So same thing, just apply it there. So that way you have room to work with and align it right on the edge and just give yourself a little bit of extra material. That way you can cover the curve and just follow the design of the panel. Be careful, lift it carefully and just align it. You would come back, grab your squeegee and tack down this whole flat area first. Make sure to remove any air bubbles and then work your way on the top section. And now we can create an outline with our finger. That way we know where we're going to trim the extra material. So create it all around the panel. Double check and see where the panel ends here. So this one goes more deep inside. So just make sure you have coverage on the inside and then trim off extra material. We 
come back, apply heat, and once we're done, next two pieces. So apply heat, help the film tack down around the curve. Okay, so when you are finished with the front section and you're going to start on the rear panel with this one, you are going to notice the chrome panel has two cutouts, one here and one here. There's different ways to go in about with the installation. You can start by aligning the film right on the edge of where the cutout is located. That's perfectly fine. If you do do that, just start here, work your way over there and just trim off the excess material. But if you do it the other way where you start on this side, same process, just align it here. Work your way and you would trim off the extra material where the cutout is located. There's no correct way to go about it. It's just more about wherever you start, just make sure it's aligned and trim afterwards. So that's pretty much it. So I'll show you guys how it will look if you start on this end. So just align it right where the cutout is. You can overlap it just a little bit to the other side and just use the lower section as a guide. Just like that. And the same steps that were done on the front, rinse and repeat, tack it down. So with your squeegee, make sure you cover the top crumb. Make the outline, trim, and then heat. Same here, wherever you start, align it, take it down, squeegee, create the outline, then trim, add heat, and you're good. And then you will move on to this last piece. Okay, so now we're moving on to the last piece here. So with this one, just make sure you give yourself enough material to cover the chrome. So when you open the door, you do notice that the panel has a curve that goes inward. So just make sure you give yourself enough material so you can do it yourself, pre-wrap it and see if it covers everything. If it's covering everything, then you should be good. So just lift it back once again, because we're going to apply heat in order to wrap it around here. So just close the door, lift the film, and once you have it aligned, just work your way with the rest of the film. And just make sure you have coverage to cover the chrome here and to make it on top as well. And then just follow the design here as well. So lower design, and that should be good. And now we're going to apply heat, tack down the film, and make these fingers shrink. That way when we use our squeegee, we don't crease the film. And then once we're done applying heat and tagging everything down, we trim off extra material. So we'll start by applying heat all over the film. Help shrink the fingers here. And you can use your finger, since it is a small area, to tack it down. But just continue until you remove all the fingers. Apply heat around here as well to help it tack down around the curve. And it's covering everything. And you just follow with the rest of the film. And just continue wrapping the film around the panel. And then once we're done, we'll come back and trim off the excess material. And now we can create the outline of where we need to trim. And just grab your blade, 
and start trimming off the excess material we don't need. And then just trim off the excess material where the cutout is for the panel. And you do the same for the lower section, just like that, and here as well. So find the cutout. And don't forget about the edges as well here on the curve. And that's it, we're done. And now the last step to do, pull seat the entire panel. And we're good to go. So the last thing to do, once you finish installing the whole kit, is to pull seat the entire panel. So to pull seat, all you need is your heat gun. And wherever you start, just make sure you apply heat. That way that adhesive on the film activates faster. And if you still see some film lifting, just help it tack down with heat and with your squeegee as well. And then once you're done pull seating each section, you'll be done with the installation. Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the side chrome delete installation for the 2020 GMC Acadia. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.